Hey there, this is Gaurav. Welcome back with another video. So I have already discussed on the concept of API and REST API in this channel. So if you are really interested, you can go and have a watch. So before going to start, I'm assuming that you have the basic idea or concept of API. Okay. So now let us understand a situation. Let's say you have created an application, let's say web application. Now you want to integrate multiple features in it. And that is why you need to take help from some third party API so that you can talk to those third party server in order to get data to integrate those features. So this is a situation you can see where your web application is talking to all the server using third party API. Okay. So let's be very specific here. Let's talk about the web application I'm talking about is Amazon. Now, Amazon wants to integrate multiple features or functionality in it. And that's why let's say Amazon wants to give you some interface where you can book your flight from some airline. Uh, so that is where it will use some third party APIs so that it can, it can communicate with some airline server you can see. So let's say you can recharge electricity bill and that is where Amazon can use some third party API to talk to those server. Let's say Amazon will talk to some banking server in order to do some kind of banking stuff. Let's say Amazon will use some server where you can do mobile recharge. Let's say Amazon can communicate with some server where you can book your cylinder. Let's talk about movie ticket booking, DTH, insurance. Let's say you can donate through Amazon as well. It can talk to the server. So from here you can understand one thing, Amazon will use some third party APIs in order to talk to those third party server so that they can integrate those features in it. So that is a situation where you have to talk to some third party server which is of let's say different origin. So I'll discuss on the word origin later. So that is a situation where there is a concept called CODs come into the picture. So it is cross origin resource sharing so from the name you can understand the meaning of it it's about sharing resource in between different origin so in this video we are going to discuss on the topic cords in detail okay i'll give you some examples so that you can understand the concept of cords so without wasting any further time let's jump right in So now let us see a policy called same origin policy. So this is where we will understand the term origin. So what it says, it says an origin for any resource is defined by three tuples. Yes, three tuples. Number one, protocol. Protocol like HTTP or HTTPS that we are using. Next, host name or domain like let's say facebook.com, flipkart.com something like that. Next, port number. So port number is a way to identify a specific process which is running in that server. Okay. So in same origin policy, we are talking about these three tuples. So let me give you one example so that you can understand uh, about these three tuples. Okay. So let's say our web page or website is hosted in a server whose URL is like this. We have HTTP, then www.xyz.com and with a port 1234. And from here you can understand the resource that we are talking about that we are supposed to load a page called homepage.html. Okay. So let us understand these three tuples here. Number one, protocol. So here the protocol that we are using is HTTP. Then host name or domain. So here the host name is www.xyz.com what is the port number port number is 1234 so this is a concept of same origin it means if two url are having this same three tuples like protocol host name and port number then we can call they are from same origin if any of these are not matching like either protocol host name or port name then we cannot call they are from same origin rather they are from different origin so let me show you some of the urls as an example where you can understand whether they are from same origin or different origin okay considering this url like where my web page is hosted as a reference so let's look at that 
so here the url that we can see at the top is the reference url okay so whatever url that we are going to consider over here we will take this url as a reference so let us look at the first url over here so you can see we are using same protocol okay and domain or host is also same and port is also same we don't bother about what what resource that we are talking about okay whether we are talking about home page or dashboard whatever okay but these three things are same and that is why it will come under same origin okay and that's why the result is success for next url it is also same the only difference is the resource that we are talking about here we have report.html again we don't bother about it right so again it is from same origin so for third url you can see uh, we are using a different protocol right even though the host name and port 1234 are same but the protocol here we are using https but in our reference url the protocol is http that means it is uh, not from the same origin but from a different origin right so in fourth url you can see the domain that you have it is different right even though the protocol and port number are same but here we have a different domain like abc.com so that is where it is from a different origin that's why the result is failure so in the fifth one you can see we are using same protocol same domain but the port that we are using is different like here we are using 2345 it is not 1234 that's why it is failing right it is from different origin so in the last one you can see we are using a different protocol as well as a different domain and port number definitely it should be from a different origin so here we can see only the first two url are from same origin so what you have learned in same origin policy so any url which is not matching any of these three tuples will violate the same origin policy okay that's what we have seen next in order to impose a strict policy of access to resource from different site the same origin policy has been imposed by many browser so two things we have learned from here right number one the same origin policy has been imposed by browser okay and the next one is same origin policy is a web app security model but what kind of web app security model that we are talking about why it is important why we should have some kind of strict policy that has been imposed by browser so why we should need same origin policy so that is where let us look at this uh, scenario where we will talk about what kind of security that we are talking about and why it is very important so let us see a situation where you can understand kind of security risk that is there if you don't have that same origin policy okay now you can see uh, here your web application is basically talking to all the server right using some third party api or some api now you can see one thing there are some server which are from same origin like the protocol the port name and domain these three tuples are same so in that case if it is from same origin there will not be any problem your browser will not give you any error you can easily access those server but there are other server you can see those are from different origin means there might be something which is not matching so this is a scenario if they are from different origin then your browser will not allow you to access those server using those api let's say so you will get some error from browser i'll just talk about that error in just few seconds so now you might be thinking why it's so why for different origin your browser will not allow you to access yeah that is a very valid question so let us see you can see there are two server i can see over here there are some malicious data or document okay and there are other server you can see those who are from different origin they are very authentic so it means you tell me one thing how your browser will understand or how your browser will know that this server are authentic and this server are not it is not possible right and that is why by default if they are from different origin your browser will not allow you to access it so now you can understand why same origin policy is very important and why it has been imposed by browser so now let us see the kind of error that you will get if you try to access different origin okay so this kind of error is called cords error so in the first error you can see access to xml http request add so this is where basically we are trying to access 
from origin. So this is our origin. So what is the thing which is not matching? Port. In our origin, the port number is 8080, but where we are basically trying to access having port number 5000. So different port, right? That is why it is violating same origin policy and you will get error from browser. So in the second one, you can see XML HTTP request cannot load this URL, right? Where we have a port number 1312. But what is the origin? Origin doesn't have any port. So that is why they are from different origin, okay? So you can see no access control allow origin header is present. So we will talk about it at the very end of this video. What is that? All right. So let's come back to the situation. So here you can see uh, this server, you can see these are authentic, okay? Even though they are from different origin. So there must be some way where I can tell browser, hey browser, this server, you can see these are authentic. Please allow me to access it and your browser will allow you to access. So there must be some way, right? So that is where we have the concept of cross origin request. So cross origin request allows restricted resources, means those are from different origin on a web page to be requested from another origin or outside the origin. So it is just mean cross origin request will allow you to access those API which are from different origin, okay? and the mechanism is called cross origin resource sharing so that is the topic for today so what is a cross origin resource sharing so it is nothing but a mechanism that allows you to access those url or api which are from different origin that's it so many browser will restrict cross origin http request especially those that are initiated by let's say xml http request just now I have shown you or let's say fetch protocol okay for fetching data now in the same situation because of course request now you can access those server which are from different origin and obviously authentic so I think so far it is very clear now right so let us talk about course mechanism so we know that somehow we have to tell browser that this is an authentic origin or authentic API please allow me to access it we know that but the main question how to give cross domain access control to web server how we can tell browser so basically browser and server they both will interact to each other and they will determine whether it is safe to allow course request or not so in order to do that that is where new set of http headers were introduced in http message coming from the server side so that's what we have to do from the server and it will tell browser that these are the set of origin that are permitted. So please allow. So let me show you some of the HTTP headers like access control allow origin, access control allow credential, access control allow headers, access control allow method. So that is where we can tell the browser from the server like what kind of origin that can be allowed, what kind of you know action that can be allowed, all kind of stuff using this header. There are many more as well. So let's look at one example you can see so there is a header called access control allow origin if we just put a star that is nothing but a wildcard that means any origin can be allowed okay your browser will not give you any error but if you want to allow just a number of set of you know origin then you can write that in this way you can let's say create a whitelist where you will write all this origin like i just want to allow this origin only and you can pass that instead of that star so let's say you just want to allow post operation for this origin okay you don't want to allow delete operation or anything else so then in that case your browser will understand so if you want to perform delete operation for that your browser again will give you some error so that is how basically the course is working so that's all for this video i hope you got some idea about course some concept like what is same origin policy or uh, what is course what is course request and so on so I'll create a separate video where I'll discuss more on cards. I'll talk about what is pre-flighted request, what is simple cross request, what are the flow. I'll also talk about some implementation part. Thanks for watching. For more video, you can follow my channel. So for now, take care. Tata. Bye-bye.